just thrilled to be able to present my paintings of musicians and dancers that I have been gently and cumulatively working towards being able to have enough pieces to show together. This exhibit is the culmination of about 30 years of being in New York City in particular. Well, really more, 45 years. <laughs> of being in New York and traveling uh, to the clubs and hearing these great musicians play and sketching them in a club. So I'm very happy that I've been able to share paintings that I have worked from sketches that I have done in jazz clubs and concert halls all, uh, all over the world, really. And some of them are from sketches that I did many, many years ago. Before I was even singing jazz, I was still enjoying and studying, of course. But for instance, uh, Jaco Pastorius, I saw him at the 55 Grand Bar. That's one of my older ones, but I have other sketches that I have been unearthing recently, which is wonderful because they have a, a, a beautiful freedom that I was already, without knowing really what I was doing uh, compositionally or as an artist, before I was studying, I was responding to the music that I was hearing. And that's the most important thing to me, is that I'm uh, working to expressing a dancer's movement through time and space, and a musician's energy and, and vibe in, in uh, expressing their music. So I'm really happy uh, to be able to have so many ideas, and I still have more ideas that I want to work on now. This is a painting that I call The Phases of Paul, and it was commissioned to me by Michael Kelly, the filmmaker, who had been working on a film about the great drummer Paul Motion for 15 years and Suzanne Hayes, who is the producer of this film, they were getting close to the completion of this long-term project, so they asked me if I would paint something about Paul. And uh, as much as I knew Paul for 30 years, uh, it was still a challenge to figure out what to do. So it's 
Paul playing in the foreground with his signature brushes. And then there's a, uh, a picture of a sculpture, which was a drawing that his niece found in the back of one of his notebooks after he passed. So that was made into a sculpture. And then the third part is his spiritual energy, which is still with us so powerfully because he wrote such great music and he recorded so many different styles of music that he's like an encyclopedia uh, for a whole generation, maybe two generations of artists. So I'm really excited about this one. So there, there are things uh, in, that represent many different times of my life in this exhibit. So it's almost like an autobiography. It's a large piece of my autobiography, and that's, that's really deeply resonant to me as an artist, to be able to express this kind of uh, connection that I have with my subjects. This is a very exciting piece to me because it was a breakthrough of a portrait and painting something that had more of a, uh, an imagination thrown into the mix. So I call this one sax master Joe Lovano morphing because he is just an extraordinary musician as most people well know. And I have been very close with Joe since 1980 was when we first met. And he just never ceases to amaze me. So I started painting this and I realized that his arm morphed into the bell of his saxophone. And it just kind of blew my mind. And when you allow your imagination to carry you, it really uh, creates things that you couldn't have thought about ahead of time. So that was the beginning of my working to allow more abstraction into my paintings. And this painting was one that I did during a live stream during the pandemic that I was doing live singing with uh, and Joe Lovano being my partner. It was so wonderful that we could play together since nobody could go to any clubs or concert halls during the, the COVID crisis. So what we did eventually was I set up a blank canvas behind me and we would play some music and we worked into the set that we had planned that Joe would play a solo and I would paint. So this painting uh, miraculously evolved during the course of this live stream with my singing and then playing percussion and painting. And in, afterwards, I looked at it and it looked like a man's face with a bowler derby on. And I wasn't sure what was this blue. And then I had these three, three lines and it looked like a man playing piano. <laughs> So I call this one hipster in G flat because he looks like he's playing a G flat here on the piano. So this was a lot of fun for me to be able to mix portraits that are recognizable characters and some abstracts that have evolved from the music together. I've really been uh, finding the balance between the reality of having someone look the way they look so that they could be recognizable to jazz and music and dance aficionados, but also allowing the painting to emerge uh, on its own to allow what I mentioned before to some of that wonderful energy of expression so that that can come across. This has been an incredible springtime for me and I have uh, several other solo art shows that have come my way, which is always a very wonderful thing. I just recently um, applied to another art show, interestingly enough, that was called The Art of Jazz. So the next stop on my little tour with my jazz paintings and dance paintings is going to be at the Westbury Arts Festival, and that is on Long Island in Westbury. So it's the Westbury Arts is a group of wonderful people down in Westbury, Long Island. And uh, so the 
opening of the exhibit is April 1st, which is a Friday, I believe, and it's going to be a panel discussion with all of the artists, and I believe there are seven or eight of us that were accepted in the show. So we will all have our paintings already hung in the gallery space, and there will be a panel where we're gonna talk about how we feel this connection between music and art, the oral and the visual. And the element of improvisation is totally connected with both of those ways of, of expressing. So I'm very excited. So I'll be part of that um, panel discussion on April 1st. And then at the end of the month, throughout the month, every weekend, they have a series of performances by the artists who have been accepted and represented. So it will be a pleasure for me to bring a band down there and to play some of my music and some classic jazz music as well uh, with the art exhibit around us. So uh, to show th the, the element of improvisation and the element of study and swing and energy and rhythm to, to really visualize the rhythm and to make it visual to whoever listens.